Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the Seng Sao 3x3 clock. Let's get started. So I just wanted to do a tip on this to show you uh, a little something that does happen when you do do this clock so you don't get confused and it'll be much easier for you to solve at the end. So on the top, we got the three, three of these are solved on this side. And then we got three of these that are solved on this side. So what you do is, uh, the next part is we're going to solve the middle clock. Um, we'll start on this side, the middle clock. So what we do is, uh, we push these two pins on the bottom in. We put one, two. Then you take the top dial here on the very top. And we turn the hands so it will match this. So we'll turn it down. So see all four of these match. And then once we do that, we push the pins back in like that. So they come out. Then we use the top dial here to bring all these hands straight up to like 12 o'clock. So once you solve this one, then you flip it over to the other side. But first push all the pins in like this, all three. Then we turn it over to the other side and you see this clock here is not solved. So what you got to do is you push these two pins in here on the bottom. One, two. Use the top dial here. We're going to move these hands, all three of these, so it lines up with this one. They're all the way down. All four are matching. Then we push both of these pins back out this way, like this. One, two. So they're out. Then you use the top dial here to move the hands to go straight up to 12 o'clock. So we look on both sides. All four of these are at 12 o'clock. And all four of these are at 12 o'clock. So sometimes, you know, when you're doing this, that can be confusing. It was confusing to me at first. I just wanted to show a little tip tutorial on this because... You could get stuck because I wasn't sure what to do. You know, I had one solved here and then the one on the other side was not solved. Because usually when you solve like these three and these three, you just bring the hands up and, you know, they're all lined up. They're all lined up, but it's not the case with this one and this one. It doesn't line up. So you got to do them separately. So then after that, uh, you push... This pin in here, because we're going to solve this clock here, on the right side, you push that one in. And then uh, you, you could use the top dial if you want, and so we could move these hands to match that. So we're going to do that. So all, all five of these are matching. Then what we do is push this pin back out, like that. It's back out. Then we push this pin in on the left side here. And then we use the top dial. Bring it around to match this one here. That's what we just did. They all went around to match this one. Then you push this pin back out here. This one. Push it out so it comes out this way. Then use the top dial here. And bring them all to the top. And it should be solved on both sides. So yeah, it's solved on both sides. So I just want to do a quick tip tutorial on this because I had trouble solving it uh, because of these this bottom clock here, this bottom clock here. I had a little trouble at first solving it. And I finally got it down path, like figured it out, and then was able to solve these two last clocks. And now I just wanted to show a good tip tutorial to make it easier for you. So if you enjoyed this video, um, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching today. Um, happy Friday to everybody. And uh, yeah, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. And uh, 
If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And have a great day. Happy Friday.